What's up, everybody? It's your boy Stevie the Black. That's S T E V W -E, e the Black. I'm back. And uh, so, about 25, 30 minutes ago, I finished watching the Rumble. I'm just letting everything digest. And this video is going to be strictly talking about the Royal Rumble match. As for a pay per view in the whole, I'll do that tomorrow. Also, my video for my thoughts on what I think the WrestleMania pay-per-view is going to look like, that's also tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Um, but my thoughts on the match, I thought the Royal Rumble was... <sighs> I'm going to give it, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being horrible, 10 being excellent, spontaneous one being i will never ever watch this again 10 being i'd go back and watch this a hundred different times and still love it every time i'm gonna go five i thought it was just average no 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 no. i'm gonna go six no i'm gonna go five five point five that's what i thought about the rumble the Royal Rumble is my second favorite pay-per-view. There is a reason why a lot of people like the Royal Rumble. The suspense. The who's coming out when. What are you going to see? Who's going to eliminate who? Who's going to be dominant? Who's going to be the underdog of the match? Who's going to be in there the longest? But I don't end up actually winning the match. And this Royal Rumble was average at best. I mean, nothing special about it. No surprise returns. No legends. And I get that because it was already star-studded to begin with. But the fact that you had The Undertaker, Brock Lesnar, Goldberg in there. And they didn't even last 10 minutes each. They were probably in the Royal Rumble about 5 minutes each. And the fact that you said, we got The Undertaker in there. We've got Brock Lesnar. We've got Goldberg in there. That is very upsetting. I mean, they didn't really dominate. I mean, Brock Lesnar came in there, threw out about four or five people. Goldberg threw out a couple people. Taker threw out a couple people. But, I mean, again, it's like... And then you have Randy Orton win. Here, see, I already knew Randy Orton was going to win the match. And they're thinking, how did you know that? I mean, they had Taker possibly could have won it. They had Jericho possibly could have won it. They had Samoa Joe possibly come and win it. How did you know? I just had a feeling in my gut that I knew that Randy Orton was going to win. Because I saw it online. And it said that Randy Orton was going to win the Royal Rumble. Bray Wyatt's going to win the Elimination Chamber. That sets up those two for the WWE Championship match at WrestleMania. And that is a waste. That is a waste of the Elimination Chamber. That is a waste of the Rumble. Because their storyline does not need the WWE Championship. Does Bray Wyatt deserve to be WWE Champion? Yes, he does. But he does not, the storyline does not deserve, does not need the WWE Championship. You could have had perfectly set up John Cena versus The Undertaker in Taker's last match trying to win his another, another championship and end his career in Orlando, Florida. But instead, you chose to go with Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt for the title. I, I don't understand that logic. I also don't understand what is the point of you having John Cena win his 16th World Championship just for him to lose it in two weeks in the Elimination Chamber to Bray Wyatt. What is the point of that? I also have to question, like, my friend Daddy was like, bro, Vince getting old. I'm like, nah, he ain't getting old. He, he need to retire. I'm like, he's not getting old. He don't need to retire. Maybe he needs to double think some things, but he doesn't need to retire. After tonight, Vince needs to retire. Like, Vince, I don't know what you were planning, but you had the perfect story set up. Why would you waste John Cena's championship? Because I'm telling you what's going to happen. Two weeks from now, John Cena is going to lose to Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt will win the WWE Championship. Because we're not getting John Cena versus Randy Orton at WrestleMania. We're not. Bray Wyatt's going to win the Elimination Chamber. John Cena is going to win his rematch on the next SmackDown or the SmackDown after that. What's going to happen is he's about to win, and then Samoa Joe is going to come out 
and Samoa Joe is going to attack him. And then he's going to say, nobody wants to see you win the title for the 17th time. Plus, they would save that for a special occasion anyway. Maybe his last match. Because I can guarantee you, John Cena will win at least one more title. One more world title. And maybe even the Intercontinental Championship. But Samoa Joe is going to come out. And he's going to attack John Cena. And that's going to set up a John Cena versus Samoa Joe. And I know everybody wants to see that match. But again, you waste John Cena winning his... Uh, you waste John Cena winning his 16th world title for him, only for him to lose in two weeks. You waste AJ Styles, who could have gone into WrestleMania as the WWE Champion, because had you gone with Taker versus Cena, then, okay, I can understand Cena, just AJ dropping the title. But all of this happened. You could have had Randy Orton versus AJ Styles. You, that could have been a great match. You, you, you could have had all of these things. But instead, that. And, and then let me get to Undertaker. So Undertaker's in the ring, and he gets thrown out by Roman Reigns. First of all, I like Roman Reigns. I've told you this countless times that I've loved Roman Reigns. But the fact that he was in the Roman when he didn't need to be, I'm, I'm very disappointed about that. Finn Balor's not in it. That's probably because he's still recovering. Uh, Who else could have been? Could have been Samoa Joe. Could have been. Who else could it have been? Maybe Shelton Benjamin, if he was good to go. Ah, shoot, you could have had a legend come out. I don't know. But the fact that you gave it to Roman Reigns, and when he eliminated The Undertaker, because I knew Taker wasn't going to win, which which hurt me, because Taker's my favorite wrestler. But I knew he wasn't going to win. But when he threw out him, but when he threw out The Undertaker, and Taker was staring back at him, and he was staring back at The Undertaker, I knew immediately right there, we're going to get Undertaker versus Ro Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. So unless you're planning on turning Roman Reigns heel and him going against Taker, that match is not going to work, especially as a babyface. Because the people do not like Roman Reigns. You keep digging him in this hole. He's never going to be the guy you want him to be because you keep putting him in these predicaments. When Braun Strowman came out and attacked him, I thought, okay, we're going to get Braun Strowman versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. Maybe that will be it. Heck, we still could get Finn Balor versus The Undertaker for all I know. The Demon versus the Dead Man. We could get that. Okay, fine. Maybe. I don't know. But apparently Vince has this grand idea that everyone's going to look back and go, oh my god, this was a great idea. So it may be Finn Balor versus The Undertaker. But, I mean, just everything going on right now and everything I've seen throughout the whole entire night, I gotta be honest with you, I don't know what's gonna go down at WrestleMania. I normally, we normally get an idea of what's going to happen besides Triple H versus Seth Rollins, besides Big Show versus Shaq, I guess they're still somehow gonna figure out a way to do Chris Jericho versus Kevin Owens. That's three matches that we know for sure is gonna happen. What about the WWE Championship match? Oh, yeah, I forgot. And Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt, which doesn't need the WWE Championship, so you're just wasting your time. <coughs> Excuse me. What's Taker going to do? I know he doesn't have the streak anymore, but people still love him, and he's a big part of the show. And what? What's Taker going to do? What's... Finn Balor going to do? What? What's if he's there back in time? What's Roman Reigns going to do? What's Dean Ambrose going to do? Hmm? What? So I'm trying to think. What other highlights? I mean, Braun Strowman obviously dominated like you thought he would, eliminating the Big Show, eliminating Mark Henry, James Ellsworth. He he was dominating in that match until Baron Corbin came out and eliminated him, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, but, uh, again, I mean, what's Braun Strowman going to do? I mean, shoot, are we going to get Braun Strowman versus The Undertaker? I, I'm just trying to wrap my mind around everything and what we've seen, just specifically from that Royal Rumble match, and... I got nothing. I, I don't know what's going to go down. I really don't. But, uh... That's about it. 
I don't know what else is going to go down. So again, I, I gave the Royal Rumble a 5.5 out of 10. I, I thought it was average. It's not a Royal Rumble I would go back and watch. You want to know what Royal Rumbles I go back and watch? I go back and watch the 2011 Royal Rumble. That was a good Royal Rumble. I go back and I watch... Uh, I think maybe the one from 2013. That was a good one. I go back and watch the one from... Actually, the 2011 one's my favorite Royal Rumble, actually. Um, that's the one I go back and watch the most. There may be some others, but I can't think of one right now. But, uh, again, highly disappointed. Vince and this whole John Cena thing. This, whatever it is, it better be a good idea for John Cena. I guess it's a Boba Joe. Taker, we don't know yet. But there have been so many times when... The WWE could have had dream matches, and people wanted, people expressed it, but yet Vince did not listen. When Hogan versus uh, Hogan versus Ric Flair could have happened, did not happen. Disappointed. Undertaker versus Sting. You had them both. Yeah, people immediately thought, bro, we gonna get Taker versus Sting. Finally, did not happen. Hulk Hogan versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. I understand that match with The Rock was that great, but you could have had Hogan versus uh, Hogan versus Austin at SummerSlam. I I don't know. You could have had that. Wait, did he leave by then? No, Hogan. No, Stone Cold Steve Austin was gone by then. Maybe he couldn't have had Hogan versus Austin. I don't know. I think Hogan was gone. I think Taker was uh, not Taker. Stone Cold was gone by SummerSlam. Yeah, he was, he was, he was. He was gone by then. He had already walked out. Um, What else could you have? You could have had John Cena versus The Undertaker at WrestleMania. You could have had all these great dream matches that people have wanted. And yes, people want John Cena versus Samoa Joe. But you didn't have to have that at WrestleMania. You could have had it somewhere else. You messed up, Vince. You messed up. I've been, I've been had, to, I've had your back. I said Vince doesn't need to retire. He's good to go. He can stick around for a couple more years. Looks like it's time to hand those keys over. It's time to hand over the power to Triple H, to Stephanie, and to Shane McMahon because I officially do not know what you're doing. Whatever it is you're planning, it better be miraculous. It, this better be the best WrestleMania that I'm not going to because it's in Orlando, Florida. The tickets cost too much. I really want to go. I'm really upset about the fact that I'm not going. <sighs> This better be a WrestleMania to remember. This better be one of the ones that people talk about that call you a genius. That's what this better be. Because if it's not, oh man, you're going to get it, Vince. You're going to hear it. You're going to hear it from us. But with that being said, that's about it. Again, like I said, the Royal Rumble was a 5.5. Wasn't nothing special. Obviously, the match of the night was John Cena versus... AJ Styles again. I don't understand why you waste Cena's 16 title. Could have had AJ going. Heck, I heard we're having AJ Styles versus Shane McMahon. Don't nobody want to see AJ Styles versus Shane McMahon. The original plan was AJ Styles versus was was the original plan was for Shane to face Brock Lesnar. Didn't nobody want to see that either. So I mean, I guess you can thank Goldberg for staying sticking around, but even still. At this point, I don't even know anymore. Don't even know. So with that being said, that's the video for today. That's my thoughts on the Royal Rumble. Again, come back tomorrow as I talk about the whole Royal Rumble ma uh, pay-per-view as a whole. And I, then I talk about what my thoughts are and what I think the WrestleMania card is going to look like. As, as I said, after the Royal Rumble, you get a good idea of what the Royal Rumble is shaping up to be. So with that being said, that is about it. And if you're not down with that, oh, I forgot. One more video tomorrow. Three videos tomorrow. How about that? I'm doing my Super Bowl pick video tomorrow. I have had all week to think about it, and I have my answer. And I cannot wait to share it with you. Who will it be? Will it be Tom Brady and the Patriots for their fifth time? Or will it be Matt Matty Ice and that Atlanta Falcons? So stay tuned for three videos tomorrow. Oh man, it's gonna be epic on this channel, baby. Till next time, peace out.